Two submissions and a knockout decides the winner. Introducing in the red corner, the world MMA champion, the Iron Creek, Paris Allen. His opponent in the blue corner from Stumpport, Bodo Colin Johnson. So the final bout of the bell between the heavyweight champion of the world, the Iron Greek, Spiros Arion from Athens. Here he grabs the mic again. I bet we don't hear much he says. Johnson, of course, and he says two rounds is all I'll need, and he's one of the greatest wrestlers you have over here in England, as you probably heard. But we've still got six five-minute rounds about uh, scheduled here. Two falls to the side. Let's see if Spiros Arion, the Iron Greek, can follow up his work. Second way, round one. The heavyweight champion of the world, Spiros Arion. The man who turned professional in France and wrestled Bruno San Martino at Madison Square Garden in front of 26,000 people and fought a draw even with San Martino in his great days. He's the National Wrestling Alliance heavyweight champion of the world. Resides now in California and over here, Mr. Fulis. Saw him on television a couple of weeks ago from Guildford. Three weeks ago, I think. I didn't impress too much as a wrestler, but Colin Johnson, the man could worry him, he may have to use some of his ability there. Meantime, Dave Reese, the referee, is going to have problems because, of course, he's so used to the all-in wrestling rules, which is not allowed in this country. Wrestling rule book has been out in the UK since 1939. Just reminding <laughs> the Iron Greek that that sort of move over here can get you sent back to the dressing room very quickly. And look at that continuing. It's a public warning. First public warning goes to the Iron Greek. But if he continues that stuff, of course, it will, it, he is right. It will be over within two rounds. He'll be back in the dressing room, disqualified. There he goes again. Well, Colin Johnson going through it a bit now. Colin Johnson of Stockport, 16 stone four, giving away just a few pounds to the 17 stone Greek from Athens. Johnson second going on a check and Brian Crabtree the MC checking too. But he's okay. Well the crowd in this country of course don't like this man, the Iron Greek very much, ever since they saw him a couple of weeks ago or a little more. But I I do tell you one thing, and I'm sure you remember the mighty John Quinn who was beaten by Big Daddy and sent back to his own country. Well, now, he's applied. John, 
Ronquette has applied to come back to the UK in January of 1980 to tag partner this man. Not, and of course, Colin Joynson now is, knows he's got it from the continuous footwork. And here comes the cushioning off the corner so that Colin Joynson can be posted right against the metal. This just doesn't work over here. You'll just have to realize that this does not work in this country. I think all the referee can possibly do is disqualify him. And, and have a good talk for him as to why later. Johnson in real trouble, and he's going to get it. Even worse if uh, this man is allowed to continue. Just one public warning against him, and the crowd in uproar here at the De Montfort Hall, Leicester, allowing the treatment to continue. Stop the fight. And what else could he do, right? Uh, Dave Reese. Colin Joyce. Joynson doesn't want it stopped. In fact, he's coming in at him. And he's coming in with a first. He says, if you want to fight your way, I'll fight your way. Takes him over to the, the metal post. So he to push him away. to his dressing room, taking a chair and breaking it on the way back. The referee and the seconds and the stewards trying to prevent him, but he's finally gone back to the dressing room. But he's disqualified. Thank you, Brian, and with that extraordinary finish to an otherwise excellent wrestling afternoon, which we sincerely hope you've enjoyed. It's goodbye from all of us at Leicester. If you can hear me, have a good week. Till next